Oop. Okay, so we can get through there now. Uh, I can tell it's been a long time since I've played anything with headphones on. I stopped doing it because it started to give me headaches and it started to give me a headache in this as well. Can I... Yeah, I can. Oh, but I can't get any further. Hmm. Oh, good. Another bit of skin. Right, this is just back down to the moths, isn't it? Isn't it? No, it's not. Because we had to move that trolley to get out of the way. Now, hold on. Is this where we've been before? It is. That's where we found the razor. But we're on the other side of it now. Again, without a map. That's going to let out a load of moths. You've actually got to guide the razor, by the way. Got to get the right angle. Ooh, I don't have a lot of shield left. Huh. So that's going to be a thing. So that's actually our health. Mind you, it, it is recovering in the spirit realm. Fire erupts in the sky. Explosions echo across the wilderness. Sparks rain down on the ruins of Fort Pulaski, a once impenetrable fortress that some saw some of the most intense fighting during the 1945 offensive against Hitler's forces. This time, however, it was not bombs or mortar fire that lit up the night sky, but a spectacular display of fireworks. Let this site of victorious struggle against the forces of evil become a place of respite. <sighs> Thomas Reckerick. Huh? Thomas. Marianne. Oh, sadness. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me. Okay. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> this, Thomas Rekovich. All oh, right. Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I... Uh, I guess... You think he stuck around? I I'm not sure. There was an old man here. Very recently. It's almost like they're layers of kind of fungus or mushrooms. Uh, you think it was Thomas? Oh, I don't know. 
Old men all look the same, all wrinkly and old. That is true. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! Uh, I feel... Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one... here. Sadness? This is very weird. A peaceful place. A dangerous method. You found a note from a troubled man. It's almost complete. The main building turned out better than expected. Now it's just a matter of finishing up the less obvious parts of the resort. God damn, this place is perfect. Remote, peaceful, hidden away from prying eyes. Talk about hiding in plain sight. Took some doing to convince them to let us stay. Luckily, I can be quite persuasive when I need to. I'll call it neither. Uh. Old invoices. Outdated documents. Wonder why someone put them out here. Indeed. But also... He's got white hair. There is a mystery! It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. Fear. Longing. What the hell happened here? Nothing good. It still works. Someone's been using it. What is it? Oh, it's a flashlight, it says, and everything. And a key? Too small to fit a door. Hmm. Someone jotted this down recently. Don't turn off that alarm clock. Medication, double check the forest path, get to the hotel, clear out the old papers, get on with research, develop photos at this time, double check the office books, check up on L. Burn marks, broken glass, and is that salt? Salt. My senses jolted as uh, I touched the phone. I could tell it had been used recently to call me. So the idea that the lights. Oh, I've, I've now attached a flashlight to myself. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. But is it was it the interaction prompt? There we go. That's as far as it goes. There. An imprint. Is that... Okay, this is weird and very cool. As I moved the clock hand, I realized it was a junction between realities. It's rare, but I'd seen it before. Handily. Do it. I can't. We must. No, don't do it. I can't. We. This is very strange. Wait. I can feel... Something's wrong. It's coming.
This is very strange indeed. There. Looks like a passage. It does, but I want to see what he says first. Taking too long. What am I missing? A spirit well. I could absorb some of that energy. I could put that to good use. I probably just look really confused. But that's the point. You know, a, a mystery is being brought together. Secretary? They must have had some big plans for this place. Hmm. So that's that opens twice. Once at four. And once just before seven. question is someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret wonder what's in here on the other side okay let's see if it worked that did something to Yeah, that doesn't look worrying at all. So what did that actually do? Um oh, gotta check the wiring. I'd hate to get stuck in there. Gotta check the wiring. Anything else in here that we need to? So we, we had a jolt of something that kind of shot off this way. So let's Has that opened up something else?
Okay. So we need to solve. Yeah, so so this is what the place looks like after. I keep I keep thinking the explosion. Now, see that we've done, I think, what we need to do here. It's done something for us, but I can't tell what. It only goes back till four. I'm so lost without you. I don't know if I can do this, but enough. Get it together. <laughs> I'm missing something. Huh, it's a signature. Psychic sleuth, you inspected a so hundred objects. This whole place. Who are you, Thomas Rekovich? Who indeed? Ah, that's what I didn't check. Uh, uh. Okay, let's get the rest of me in there. That's what I didn't check. Ah, and I need to change the clock one more time so that the passageway is open on both sides. then I can enter in both places at once. Oh, and... Uh, oh, I'll never get used to this. No, indeed. No, indeed. Nope. Doesn't work. The spooky slide projectors. Ugh. I'm beginning to see what the I ray tracing will do for this. What with this the lights. Secrecy. Oh, print development process. Don't forget about the red lights. Light five seconds, time in each tray three seconds. Photo paper. I've got a very really itchy eye. Okay, I know how this works. I need three liquids to develop the photo. Uh-huh. Looks like there's a train missing. Okay. So we've got to find the bits and pieces for... 
I could sense something stirring behind that symbol. Like a gust of wind moving a curtain. It's getting stronger. I can feel it seeping through, creeping into my mind. It wants out. It cannot get out. I won't let it. Even if it means... No, I'll find another way. Something fun clearly happened here. Maleficus, uh, uh, sorry, Malleus Maleficarum, Hammer of Witches. This was the book that <sighs> James the First. Hope he's not using it as a textbook. Wrote, if I remember correctly. Is that right? I think that's right. Fluid. That's one. Two more to go. Suppressing, huh? Not sure I like the sound of that. Uh-huh. That's only one of the fluids. Ah, there's another one there. Fixer. Multigrade. Sadness? The door this has been closed. Funny. Sadness? Keep it together, Marianne. Let's see what's in here. This should come in handy. Try. Yeah. Ah. Okay, that's all of them. Do you want to be a photographer? Okay. Oh. Oh, we can't turn the light back on. Uh. So we need some trays down. Let's put the tray there. There we go. Light, five seconds. Time in each tray, three seconds. Okay. Developer, stop, fixer. I assume it's that. Developer. Stop. Fixer. So we need five seconds of the light and then time in each tray three seconds. So, photo paper. Oh, light first. Illuminated photo. One, two, three. Multigraded photo. One, two, three. Water bath photo. One. Two, three. It's a picture of us. What the hell? Because of course it is. Who's there? Oh, joy. What? 
What the fuck is this? Clearly not. This our pyramid head. Wait, don't go. Burning towards the camera. He's clipping wonderfully through that scenery. Ah. Oh no! No! Damn it! Yes, I know. I didn't have any spirit shield left. Wait! Don't go! Oh god! At least it doesn't make you run towards the camera for too long. I can't, I can't use my spirit shield. It's not working. It all ends in me. Uh, not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures. Okay. Stealth sections. Where are you? Where is she? Why? Sneaky.
Let me try you on. Trying to plan my route forwards. Frame rate's taking an absolute tanking here. There we go. Right, moths. Burns them away. I wonder why moths? Why have they chosen moths as the motif? What the fuck was that? Nothing good. I'm intrigued as to what the, the other version of reality looks like. We've spent quite a lot of time in this one now. Jump scare time. Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. You saw you ran, you lived, you survived a monstrous encounter. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things. So this is us telling our story growing. after the fact, I'm assuming. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. Yeah, who are we telling this story to? Ravenous. The more. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? End of chapter one? So to speak? I have broken my spine. I woke up with icy water in my veins. Oh, we're on the other side of the door. But that we couldn't to just get up and run until my legs give out. That gate that we couldn't get to like an hour and a half ago or whatever it was. I knew I couldn't. Are we? Oh no. It wouldn't have solved anything. 
And besides, we're not on the other side. Needed my help. There's someone there. Sinners be damned. These are the same names as before, yeah. Merry and happy. You're okay. Sadness? Okay, that's cool. Are you okay? What was that thing? Hello? Hi! Richard! Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room. Okay. That are you trying to show me the way? That is where I'm gonna leave this recording session. Cause that's two hours twenty minutes, which is a little bit longer than I was expecting to be playing, but as you probably noticed, I was rather swept away. With that, I suspect I will have broken this up into multiple multiple episodes less of a damage and tries at two hours 20 minutes worth of recording isn't it and more of a damage and plays really yeah the it is it's been giving me a headache for a while with the headphones on i mean it, I, i've mentioned in the past that i'm not good with horror games anyway but there's been a lot of static and kind of stark sound effects and it just goes straight into my ears it's not helped um but yeah, I'm very, very intrigued from a story perspective of where this is going. And the mechanics have been interestingly built up. It's got atmosphere. It's got mystery. It's it's certainly not a fast-paced game. It's very kind of Silent Hill, early Resi Evil, puzzle more, uh, more focused. But it's got a good mystery and it's got a good vibe to, a good vibe to it. And it's got some nice gross touches like the... The, the, the razor blade cutting through the skin and stuff um hopefully these are the kind of mechanics that will reappear multiple times as opposed to one and done mechanics i'm never a huge fan of one and done style things but i think the the razor blade has gone from our inventory so yeah maybe that's the last we'll see of it who knows anyway hopefully you've enjoyed my reactions and thoughts and this that and the other to the game so far. I assume it's saved our progress. That's saved three minutes ago. So it tells us, which is quite nice. Interesting that the, the loading screen has changed as well. I'm liking the flickering, flickering heads. Yeah, what an interesting game. Performance has been really solid for the most part, though it did dip a little bit during that... Well, the one part I noticed it dipping was in that big room with the more circling round and the light in the distance. Um, but otherwise, I think it's been pretty good. I think. Anyway, until next time, folks, that has been The Medium. Don't know how long the game is. If I find out, I'll put it up on the screen now. Um, yeah, really, really spooky so far. Good stuff, good stuff. See you around. Bye. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.